In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve an equation which has an absolute value in it. Recall that absolute value is the distance from zero, and so when we see something such as the absolute value of x is equal to five, and we want to know what number that variable represents, our ultimate goal for solving equations, what number does the variable represent, we want to know what numbers have a distance of five from zero. Well, clearly five is five units from zero, but so is negative five. The absolute value of both five and negative five is five. What this shows is that what is inside the absolute value could be positive, or it could be negative. And it doesn't really matter which, because the absolute value will always make whatever that thing is positive. And because we have positive and negative to consider, this means we have two solutions to each equation. So for example, when we have the absolute value of two x minus five, we know that whatever is inside the absolute value, the two x minus five could be equal to either positive seven, or the two x minus five could be equal to negative seven. What is inside the absolute value could be positive or negative. Well, this just gives me a two-step equation which I can solve by adding five to both sides, giving us two x equals twelve, and then finally dividing both sides by two, giving us our first answer, x is equal to six. The second solution we can get by solving the second equation, where we add five to both sides and we get two x is equal to negative two, and finally divide both sides by two to get our second solution, x is negative one. Because there's an absolute value, there's two solutions that can make the equation true. X is representing two different numbers. Let's look at another example. In the second example, the absolute value of seven x minus five equals seventeen, and again, we remember that whatever is inside the absolute value could be equal to positive seventeen or negative seventeen. This means we need two equations. We'll say seven minus five x equals seventeen, and seven minus five x equals negative seventeen. Because what is inside the absolute value equals positive or negative my number. Solving the equations then, we subtract seven from both sides, negative five x is equal to ten, and finally divide by negative five on both sides to get x is equal to negative two for the first solution to the equation. To get the second solution, we solve the second equation, subtracting seven to get negative five x equals negative twenty-four, and then finally dividing by negative five, giving us our final solution that x is equal to positive, negative divided by a negative, twenty-four fifths. So in solving with absolute value equations, we see that what is inside the absolute value can be positive or negative, and we'll end up with two solutions.